Hey, I'm Larry Janeski from Dr. Energy Saver. When we make homes more energy efficient and comfortable for the owners that live in them, one of the things that we do most often is work in the attic. The attic is our A priority. A for attic, B for basement or crawl space, C for condition space, but attic is always the priority. And there's reasons for that. Warm air rises, leaks through the top of the house. Uh, heat rises and we have conductive heat losses through the top of the house. As air leaks through the top of the house, new air from the outside needs to leak in at the bottom of the house to replace the air that left. That means you have to reheat that air, adding more fuel, raising your heating bills even more, and you'll feel more drafts at the bottom of the house. So starting with the top of the house, we want to make it airtight and prevent heat losses at the top. If you're in a southern climate, you know that most of the year you're air conditioning and the heat from your attic is radiating down into your house and making your house uncomfortable and causing your air conditioning to run all the time. What are the things that we do in an attic to make a house more energy efficient? We air seal the attic floor. Any penetration that is in the attic floor where air could come up around a pipe or a wire between a uh, top of a interior partition wall, uh, through soffits, through plumbing chases and chimney chases and duct chases from, from the house or from the lower levels of the house and into the attic. We need to seal because air is being lost up into the attic through those holes. When we have ducts in the attic, that is a terrible thing. We don't want ducts in the attic anymore with modern construction, knowing what we know now, but there's millions of homes with ducts in the attic. And we're trying to produce hotter, cold air and running that air through sheet metal ducts through an attic that is the opposite temperature. If we're trying to produce cold air in the summertime, the, the attic is baking hot. If we're trying to produce warm air in the wintertime, the attic is freezing cold because it's vented. So we want to add insulation to those ducts and spray foam is one way that we do that here at Dr. Energy Saver. And we want to seal those ducts so they don't leak air to the attic and, and that air that we paid to heat or cool is lost. So that spray foam accomplishes that too. Another thing that we do is if there is a storage uh, in the attic, if you want to store things in your attic, and the attic is not a great place to store things, a vented attic, it's hot in the summertime, very hot and cold in the winter and it's dusty. But if you wanted to store stuff in your attic, we can put a storage deck down that's insulated. So we'll put board foam down, four inches of foam with plywood on top of that so you can store things. Another reason we might want to do this in an attic is if there's a heating or air conditioning unit that needs to be serviced from time to time, workmen need to get up there and service the unit, change the filters and so forth. We would make sure they have access to it without crawling through a foot of blown in insulation. If we do put a storage area or a dam we want to have some containment for where we're going to blow our loose fill insulation. And we'll put, we call that a dam, to hold that insulation back. And cellulose is our insulation of choice, although uh, from time to time, for different reasons, we may use fiberglass. And we'll blow in enough insulation so that we get an R60 insulation value. Most attics out there started out with maybe R19 insulation, and over time, the insulation gets compressed and dirty, and and there's lots of gaps in it and really you may only have R10 in your attic. So we have an R value of R60 putting a nice warm blanket over the top of the house which will prevent heat loss from underneath getting out into the attic and into the sky because it's vented uh, or prevent heat flow the other way. Uh, if you have a hot roof in the summertime that heat is radiating down and this will protect your ceilings from getting hot and making your home more uncomfortable. So if you have a home that you'd like to make more energy efficient, more comfortable, less expensive to own and healthier, call Dr. Energy Saver. I'd love to evaluate your house and talk to you about what we can do for you.